Hello friends. Greetings for the day. Today we are going to have little introduction of artificial bee colony optimization technique which is also known as ABC. ABC is the nature inspire optimization technique for many fields of science and applications such as operation research, economics, network analysis, optimal design of mechanical and electrical systems, etc. ABC tries to model natural behavior of real honeybees food foraging. ABC algorithm finds near optimal solutions to the difficult optimization problems. Proposed by Jervis Carabaga in year 2005. Preferences over classical optimization technique and efficiency of classical optimization algorithms in solving larger scale combinatorial and or highly nonlinear problems. One of the main characteristics of the classical optimization algorithms is their inflexibility to adapt the solution algorithm to a given problem. Conventional techniques require making several assumptions which might not be easy to validate in many situations. Classical optimization's efficiency is also very much dependent on the size of the solution space, number of variables and constraints used in the problem modeling and the structure of the solution space, convex, non-convex, etc. Now we are going to discuss philosophy of ABC. Main components Food sources, employed foragers and unemployed foragers includes scout bees and onlooker bees. Food sources In order to select a food source, a forager bee evaluates several properties related with a food source such as its closeness to the hive richness of the energy, taste of its nectar, and the ease or difficulty of extracting this energy. For the simplicity, the quality of a food source can be represented by only one quantity although it depends on various parameters mentioned above, implowed foragers. An employed forager is employed at a specific food source which she is currently exploiting. She carries information about this specific source and shares it with other bees waiting in the hive. The information includes the distance, the direction and the profitability of the food source. Unemployed foragers A forager bee that looks for a food source to exploit is called unemployed. It can be either a scout who searches the environment randomly or an onlooker who tries to find a food source by means of the information given by the employed bee. The mean number of scouts is about 5 to 10 percentage. The exchange of information among bees is the most important occurrence in the formation of collective knowledge while examining the entire hive it is possible to distinguish some parts that commonly exist in all hives. The most important part of the hive with respect to exchanging information is the dancing area. Communication among bees related to the quality of food sources occurs the dancing area. The related dance is called waggle dance. Since information about all the current rich sources is available to an onlooker on the dance floor, probably she could watch numerous dances and chooses to employ herself greater probability of onlookers choosing more profitable sources since more information is circulating about the more profitable sources. Employed foragers share their information with a probability which is proportional to the profitability of the food source, and the sharing of this information through waggle dancing is longer in duration. Hence. The recruitment is proportional to profitability of a food source the most profitable source. There is a, in order to better understand the basic behavior characteristics of foragers, let us examine this figure. Assume that there are two discovered food sources, A and B. At the very beginning, a potential forager will start as unemployed forager. That forager B will have no knowledge about the food sources around the nest. There are two possible options for such a bee. It can be a scout and starts searching around the nest spontaneously for food due to some internal motivation or possible external clue, S on figure. It can be a recruit after watching the waggle dances and starts searching for a food source, R on figure. Af after finding the food source, the bee utilizes its own capability to memorize the location and then immediately starts exploiting it. Hence, the bee will become an employed forager. 
The foraging bee takes a load of nectar from the source and returns to the hive, unloading the nectar to food store. After unloading the food, the bee has the following options, 1. It might become an uncommitted follower after abandoning the food source, UF. 2. It might dance and then recruit nest mates before returning to the same food source, EF1. 3. It might continue to forage at the food source without recruiting bees, EF2. It is important to note that not all bees start foraging simultaneously. The experiments confirm that new bees begin foraging at a rate proportional to the difference between the eventual total number of bees and the number of bees presently foraging.